name's Ava Solberger. Today we are here in South Burlington at the WCIX studios <gasps> and we're using their green screen. Just think of all the magic places I can go. And we are celebrating the 600th episode of Stuck in Vermont. <laughs> Think of all the sleepless nights, long nights editing, driving all over the state, meeting thousands, literally thousands of people and trying to share their stories with you, the audience. So thank you all for tuning in for 600 episodes and we're going to share with you some of the feedback from our Stuck in Vermont survey and also tell you about some upcoming changes to the series. You know, when you hit 600 episodes, kind of a time to evaluate, think about what we can change, do better, how to play and experiment a little bit and keep it fresh for me, for you, for everybody. So how will Stuck in Vermont change? Number one, there'll be fewer videos. You'll see two videos a month. So every other week there will be a video. Number two, those videos are going to be higher quality content because I'm going to have more time to interview people, to meet people, to edit those videos. So in the survey, I asked you what changes you would like to see in Stuck in Vermont. And a lot of you said, keep it as it is. We like it the way it is. And that's great to hear. Yes, I wanna do more meaningful, powerful stories because as I age, these are things that are really important to me, the human condition. Not only did we hear from Vermonters all over the state, like in Isle Lamont, Eden Mills, Northfield Falls, St. Albans, Swanton, Grand Isle, Manchester, Pownall, Bristol, Jeffersonville, North Hartland, Thetford, but we heard from non-Vermonters in New York, New Hampshire, Florida, Connecticut, Texas, Maine, and Oklahoma. Nancy from Oklahoma said she watches Stuck in Vermont because my state is boring and brown and I want to see something exciting and green. So here are some of the words that you use to describe Stuck in Vermont. Quirky, off the beaten path, unique, the Vermont you don't usually see. Vermont secrets, warm-hearted, optimistic, energetic. So James from Stepford said, get out of Chittenden County more. I heard that from a number of you and I am taking note of that. A lot of you mentioned the barn episode that I did in Richmond, and you love barns. Vermonters take their barns very seriously, so duly noted, I'm going to be heading out to more barns across the state, and hopefully some covered bridges as well. So another change is that I want to crowdsource more. I already get lots of emails, pitches on social media in the grocery store downtown, but I would love to have you, the audience, help me come up with people who would be interesting to feature. Becky from Morrisville said, I wouldn't change much, but it sounds like Ava's looking for change to fuel her passion and energy. So whatever keeps her committed to the series will be great. Sometimes you have to experiment a little bit to see what you come up with. Sometimes you have to fail a little, <laughs> screw up, try again. Erica of South Burlington said she'd like to see more episodes featuring hot air balloons because I really want to mark that off my bucket list. I would just like to be clear. I do not like flying in hot air balloons. Allison from Burlington said, challenge yourself to find hidden communities and go off the beaten path even more. I started Stuck in Vermont because I wanted to tell the story that wasn't being told. That really is the essence of Stuck in Vermont. It's telling the quirky, the unusual stories. Wilo from Springfield said, that theme song leaves something to be desired. I hear you, Wyla. This is a song by local band, The Smittens. I'm going to use a more updated version of the song, again, performed by The Smittens, who I love. Thank you, Smittens, for all the music over the years. Mary from South Burlington said, the 500th episode was a bit over the top for me. Sorry, Mary, I hear ya. And to be honest, I have mixed feelings about the 500th episode too. Mickey from Jeffersonville says, everything you ever wanted to know about the person standing next to you but we're afraid to ask. The only thing I would suggest is that the pace could slow down on occasion. Fred from Dummerston said, interesting, though sometimes trite. <sighs> Isis from Jericho said, give Ava a raise. Isis, I love you. Judith from Williston said, Ava is always respectful of her subjects and her love of Vermont always shines through. Regan of Derby says, I love it. Highlights things in Vermont, trains. Trains are awesome, and what a great thing to do. 
Carrie from Heinsberg said the episode about Ava's eye surgery helped my husband so much before he went through cataract surgery. Emily from Portland said, the episodes with Diane Sullivan going for a colonoscopy and later, later a dermatology skin check. Is that totally weird? No. Many of you mentioned the video I did with Matt Thorson who died last year. It was very profound, like Matt. There was a beautiful calm that made the inevitable less painful and sad. Darcy from Swanton said, it's always something new and interesting, and I am a lifelong Vermonter. True Vermont uniqueness. True Vermont uniqueness. That might be my new tagline. True Vermont uniqueness. <sighs> Damon from Tampa, Florida said, I like to get an insider view of the state. Love them all because I feel like I'm in on the secrets and behind the scenes on Vermont. My friend Jack from Texas said, I really like Vermont and Saulberger's take on Vermont. This Vermont gal finds the state's quirky people, places, things, and tells you all about them in a fun way. Izora from Burlington says, Make more. Ava is the spirit we need and she encompasses all that we love about Vermont. And I swear she is the real Miss Vermont. <gasps> Me, Miss Vermont. Jessica in Portland, Maine says, I love Vermont and think Ava is the bee's knees. <gasps> a woman with adventure and curiosity coursing through her green mountain heart captures the magic of Vermont and brings it into our homes every week. Jennifer from South Burlington says, keep on seeking out all the weirdness Vermont has to offer. You betcha. Carissa of Hampton, New Hampshire says, the series has a very down to earth Vermont vibe. Ooh, Vermont vibe. Maybe that's what I should call the series, Vermont vibe. Jeremy from South Burlington says, Ava, please keep on being yourself and just keep doing you. You tell great stories and the vibe is on point. The vibe, the vibe is on point. The vibe, the vibe. The vibe is on point. Ow, ow. The vibe is on point. The vibe is on point. So we also asked you in the survey for story ideas and you came up with some doozies. One of them was, I would like to see some of the homeless people interviewed and featured. Everyone has a story and some will really surprise you. That is on the list. Do, 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 do. Ideas, ideas, ideas. I couldn't do it without all of you. So we will get stuck in Vermont with you again real soon. Follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. Sign up for a weekly email alert. Mwah. Happy holidays, everyone. Matt Thurston took that picture of me doing this silly thing. La, la, 